Today I'd like to show you some features from the new FoxyShop 2.0. Let's open up the WordPress admin and you'll notice there's a few new options in our side menu. We have orders, customers, and subscriptions. First let's look at orders. You can now view and manage orders within the WordPress admin, which is very handy. Now you don't have to go out to FoxyCart to view your transactions. You can search by transaction type, and you can view filled or archived orders. You can check out the data feed status, whether it's been fed or unfed. Lots of different filters that you can set. You can also select your start date. By default, it gives you the last 10 days. Let's look at this entire month and search our records. It p pulls all this information right from the FoxyCart API, so nothing is stored in WordPress. It shows you your list of orders, and you can click the plus next to each order to pull up some information about it. Here's our transaction details, our order details, the customer address. If there was a secondary shipping address, that'll be listed here also. You see the shipping type, the IP address of the customer, and that's a link, so you can click that and do an IP lookup to find out if it seems like this might be a kind of a fraudulent order. This is a subscription product, and it gives you all the information about that product. We have other things that show up in here as well. If your store, your checkout has custom fields, those will show up right here. If you have, um, it shows pictures of all the products. If that, if you're using uh, FoxyCart uh, 7.1. And if you're using multiple shipping addresses, it will also show those. See the shipping details for the Henry address, for the me address. And uh, so it's very handy. It, it, it's designed to handle whatever kind of configuration your store is using. You can also click the archive button once the order's been filled, and it will hide the order. You can still view it by selecting your archived orders. This is the same feature that you find on the FoxyCart uh, website, and it utilizes the same data structure. So anything you hide here will be hidden in the FoxyCart order structure. Let's look at our customers. You can search by ID, or first name, or last name, customer email, or state. Again, it will show you your list of customers and you can get some more information about each customer by clicking the plus. pulls all this data right from the FoxyCard API. And you can click orders and subscriptions to see this customer's orders and subscriptions. Now something that's new and very exciting is our subscriptions screen. You can now view and manage all of your FoxyCard subscriptions in the admin right here believe that this is the only uh, FoxyCard application that actually does this right now. So um, this is a very, very helpful tool. You can view subscriptions that are disabled or active. You can view just those with past due status or with a past due amount. You can search for any particular type of frequency. You can search for a start date or an end uh, uh, start date. You can also search for when the next transaction is and the next end date. And you can search, uh, all of those are searchable with ranges. Uh, you can search for anything for like particular customer information as well. This will bring up all of your subscriptions. Anything that has red has a past due amount. Anything with gray is a disabled subscription, and anything in a green row is an active subscription. You shows the frequency here with the FoxyCart frequency code and uh, product details. You can also click the plus next to each one and get the update or cancellation URL, if you'd like to give that to your customer, you can change the frequency. 
Let's change this to a frequency of one year. And it changes right there. Uh, you can also change your past due amount, your start date, and next transaction date. So it's very flexible. You can even disable the subscription or activate it. So it's very, very powerful, very helpful. Next, let's look at our settings. We have a few new settings that you can take a look at. The first thing you'll notice is that shipping categories have a new feature that lets you put a nice name in. Previously, you could only show the shipping code, the shipping category codes in the drop down menu on the product page. This is very helpful because uh, it's just a more friendly way of viewing it. So, if you'd like, you can put a pipe sign in and put the friendly name after the pipe sign on each line. It certainly isn't required. You don't need to do this, but if you'd like to, it's there. We also added an a checkbox for advanced Google Analytics code, and this will get you started if you'd like to use FoxyCart's Google Analytics Sync, which shows checkout and funnel information for all of your checkouts. Also, uh, it has a, a wealth of information, and anyone who's using uh, uh, FoxyCart Solutions and Google Analytics should definitely set this up. We have a tutorial and information on the Foxy Shop website, so make sure you check that out. Uh, and just check this box if you plan to use that, and the correct code will be um, loaded in by default. The last thing that I we wanted to look at today is the WordPress single sign-on. This allows your FoxyCart and WordPress accounts to be synced, so any changes that a WordPress user makes will be synced to the FoxyCart account as well. And you can also require that the user be logged in with a WordPress account in order to check out. This is very helpful for a membership site. All the instructions are right here, and this is the code that you need to load into your single sign-on URL box in the FoxyCart admin. Let's do a test transaction so we can see how this works. I've opened up a new web browser, and we've gone to foxyshop.com. We're going to just do a quick test order here. Oh, this iPad cover looks pretty good today. Wow, look at that. All right, so we'll add it to the cart, and we'll check out. Now, FoxyCart has just come to our website and asked if the user was logged in. Our website says no, the user isn't logged in, and the user needs to be logged in, so we're now prompted to log in. Notice the login message. Please log in before checking out. We'll log in as test user that I've already set up, and we will log in. And now we're redirected right to our checkout. Notice it has it uh, we're pre-filled with testing at testing.com, the email address that we'd used, and the first and last name of the WordPress user. If this user has made a FoxyCart purchase before, all their address information and checkout information, including credit card information if they wanted, will all be saved, like a regular FoxyCart account. So it's a very handy, helpful way if you run a membership site or something like that. So these are just a few of the new features that you'll find in FoxyShop 2.0. We've also done some code cleanup and some bug fixes. But uh, these are the, the new main features, the order management, customer management, and subscription management, So and as well as the WordPress uh, single sign-on. So I hope that you enjoy using these. And as always, if you have any troubles or any questions, please feel free to uh, hit me up on the contact form, and I'll see if I can help you out. Thanks a lot for watching.